Hi everyone, welcome to PlatformCon. Hope you are having a great time so far. I will introduce myself in just a bit, but let's start with why we are here and what we've been building at Trandyol. Trandyol is among Turkey's leading technology companies serving millions of users across e-commerce, logistics, fintech and beyond. Under the hood, there is a growing engineering organization focused on building and operating software at scale. Today, that ecosystem includes over 2,000 engineers spanning across product teams, infrastructure, platform, and more. Together, we are operating Trendio in 14 regions, over 7,000 microservices, across 500 Kubernetes clusters, and more than 10,000 actively deployed applications. So, we needed more than just a tool. We needed a platform built for developers. That's when we rethink our approach and began building the Trendyol Builder Platform, aka TVP. We wanted that the platform brings consistency, safety, and velocity to do our application delivery model, and without forcing developers to understand the infrastructure beneath it. It should enable shift left approach without shifting complexity onto teams, a platform that turns its standards into modular, reusable building blocks. So developers can focus on what they need to deliver, not how it runs. It's not meant to be just a tool. It's a developer-centric platform designed to reduce cognitive load and fit naturally into existing workflows. I'm Meran Cankurtaran, a platform engineer at Trendio for over four years, where I focused on building internal developer platform that streamline and scale application delivery. Today, me and Mustafa focus on how we made application delivery easier, safer, and more consistent for our developers. And want to take you through the story of how we hit those limits and how we ended up building new platform from the ground up. Like many teams, we started GitHub's journey with Argo CD. It worked great in early days, a reliable sync engine, a declarative model, and a strong open source community. But as our old application delivery model became the foundation for everything we scaled, so it gradually turned into a bottleneck. As our platform scaled, the pressure on our GitOps engine grew gradually. With over 10,000 applications, periodic syncs from Git began to compound. Each change rippled across environments, generating increasing load on the control plane. Eventually, with the 500 clusters, rollout windows brought noticeably slowdowns, and the API saturation became the part of the operational routine. Our first attempt to mitigate this issue was splitting Argo CD into multiple instances, each dedicated to a specific delivery purpose. This helped distribute the load, but it introduced new challenges, fragmented secrets and configuration, and huge increase of support requests and the maintenance costs. Sprawling manifest com complex deployment setups and inconsistent practices slowed us down too. Misconfigurations increased and the platform team was buried into support requests. Meanwhile, the developers carried a heavy burden. They had to manage raw Kubernetes manifest, manually integrate the platform tools like rate limits, and keep up with the platform changes on their own. This leading to a drift, misalignment, and duplicated report. Then came orphaned the applications. As team decommissioned the services, many delivery resources were left behind, still actively syncing and consuming resources, but with no clear ownership. This also added noise to both of our kit repositories and control plane, making operations harder to manage and debug. After that, we have implemented sharding method to our application set controller, which brought average deployment latency down from 20 minutes to 46 minutes. But we know we were only buying time, not solving the root problem. Our reconciliation engine was also hammering the GitLab with thousands of Git operations per minute. Eventually, GitLab slowed down across the board. CI pipelines were delayed. Even the GitLab UI became unresponsive for developers across the organization. Our delivery model was now impacting teams who weren't even touching the platform directly. It turned out we weren't just hitting a scaling issue. We were hitting, a, hitting the limits of the model itself. Optimizing what we had wasn't going to cut it. What we need was a paradigm shift away from the infrastructure first delivery and toward the developer-centered platform. That's when we started designing TBP by leveraging Kubevela and feature model. It enables through the open application model. Let's talk about how we actually rebuilt delivery behind the scenes, starting with the core of our platform, Kubevela. Kubevela is an open source, 
Application Delivery Control Plane that offers a developer-centric, extensible and unified experience across cloud platforms, edge locations and multi-cluster Kubernetes environments. Under the hood of the TBP, what really powers our abstraction is open application model. The components are the things you want to deploy, the traits controlled over how those components that behave, the policies to enforcing rules to your application, the workflow to control delivery over the destination targets. In TBP, we are using QLang for templating engine. It's an open source language designed for data validation, configuration, and code generation. These are part of our internal catalog and any team can drop them into a manifest to get fully integrated behavior with just a few lines of configuration. This model allows us to roll out updates, enforce best practices, and ensure safety faults without touching individual applications. As we mentioned, the core of the TPP is Kubella, but we didn't just adopt it. We extended it to meet trend your skills and standards. This diagram shows us how we built GitOps native control pen with custom behavior. Git push triggers Flux, Flux reconcile Kubella through the application manifest, our ADP collector watches CRDs and writes updates to Elasticsearch. This also allows us to enable internal developer portal also. But under the hood is a multi-cluster application engine with built-in safety, traceability, and observability. And this is just a slice of what TVP can extend. We even support self-service elastic search provisioning as part of the, our application lifecycle. So as you see, it's much less simple with TBP now. What you are looking at here is a sample use case in Trendio, a service that automatically provisions access to cache-based database with no extra scripts, no tickets, no platform calls. The developer just declares a couch-based user trait along with the cluster, scope, and access role they need. And TPP takes care of provisioning credentials, wiring connectivity, and applying the correct policies behind the scenes. Of course, all of this isn't just about developer experience. It's also about performance. With our previous setup, the average sync time per application was over seven minutes. That seven minutes of delay multiplied across thousands of services and dozens of environments, dragging down our Dora metrics and slowing feedback loops. After switching to TBP, we brought reconciliation time down to 1.9 seconds. That's not just fast, it's near real time. Back in days, developers had to understand the internals of every platform product they have touched. Developers now have simplified interface where features can be turned on or off declaratively without YAML deep dives or tribal knowledge. And since it's catalog driven, whenever we update a platform capability, those changes are automatically applied across all application definitions. TBP became the bridge between the platform and the developer, delivering true abstraction over abstraction. Before TBP, every team had their own flavor of deployment, which made it almost impossible to roll out new platform standards consistently. Previously, troubleshooting meant jumping between multiple products like Grafana, Kibana, Argo CD, Nibelic, all with different views, permissions, and user experiences. With TBP, we brought everything into single unified developer portal. So far, we have walked through the architecture and the principles that shape TBP. We have seen how we tackled growing pains. But the best way to understand its value, let's walk through what it actually looks like in use. Now Mustafa will take you through a more about TVP solutions to mention problems. Thank you for listening so far. Thanks, Eren. Hey, everyone. I'm Mustafa, platform software engineer at Trendyol for five years. Let's walk through the solutions we brought with TVP to solve the problems Eren has just mentioned. The dashboard is the first thing you see when you log into TVP. Dora metrics like MTTR and deployment frequency, firing alerts, open merge requests, recent actions, resource usage metrics, and instance. Compare this to before, where you had to hop across Grafana for metrics, Kibana for logs, GitHub for history, and Argo CD for application delivery. Now it's all surfaced in one dashboard, instantly actionable and purpose-built for our developers. In application detail page, you get latest deployment info, synced directly from Git, quick links to GitLab, Jager, Kibana, Grafana, 
and visibility across every cluster and environment where your application runs. Also, even control over workflow and rollout revisions. Uh, so you don't need to open five tabs to investigate an issue or track a release. TVP brings all the context together into one view designed for clarity and speed. When you drill down into an application, the console gives you everything you need to operate it safely and confidently. You get an overview of Argo rollout status, full visibility into generative Kubernetes, CRDs, resource usage insights like CPU, memory, and restarts, and most importantly, a single click to trigger a rollback if something goes wrong. This is quite important one. In the past, this meant scripting, jumping between dashboards, and chasing logs. Let's go one level deeper. Developers also can inspect real-time pod status and container restarts, dive into four golden signals like error rate and saturation, monitor their application specific and Kafka metrics, all without wiring up dashboards manually. The goal here isn't to replace observable tools, but to surface the right data in the right place at the right time, fully integrated into the deployment context. We've also integrated Argo rollouts directly into the platform UI, giving developers full visibility and control over deployment progress. From here, teams can inspect rollout strategy and replica health, compare revisions, and promote or pause instantly. Review smokeless results and relating blocks, which is quite favorite one, writing context, which makes progressive delivery not just possible, but truly accessible by default from day zero. And when something goes wrong, you can drill down all the way to the pod level, directly from the same console. You can inspect every container in the pod, view CPU and memory usage log metrics, and check logs without context imaging. This helps developers troubleshoot faster without needing to jump between multiple observability tools, which decreases MTTR. You see our observability module here. It allows developers to see all application metrics they need. Also, runtime logs of the applications are one click away. As we mentioned earlier, TPP provides abstraction or abstraction. Same here, we abstract config and secret management. We use console and vault for config management in Trendo. This module allows developers to manage configs and secrets directly inside the delivery console. No more scattered config maps, no more mystery vault paths, just a unified place to create, version, and propagate configuration. And yes, it also integrates with GitLab CI because developers also push their application configs through the repositories. So earlier we mentioned the infrastructure scale we are operating at is a huge, but without cost visibility, scale becomes a liability, not an advantage. That's why TBP includes a built-in cost center. From data center to pod, from app to environment, teams can now trace their resource usage and understand exactly where hosts are coming from. We even calculate log ingestion costs, which at our scale is far from trivial. To support operational safety at scale, we have also implemented deployment freeze controls and a change request approval system. Teams can now request and justify exceptions, whether it's bypassing a security check or lifting a freeze window. And platform owners can approve them in a structured, auditable flow. With security module, vulnerabilities are visible, contextual, and actionable, right at the deployment level. If a service has a critical or overdue issues, we can block the deployment instantly. This not only improves our overall security posture, it also relieves developers from being manually chased and helps security teams shift from reactive to proactive mode. Another key capability is traffic management. Developers can now shift traffic between zones on demand. No more tickets, no more late night calls to the traffic team. This makes zone failover, A-B testing, and regional scaling seamless. Everything here is built around self service. Scale your service statically or dynamically. Migrate the service from cluster to another cluster. Shift traffic of an application between the data centers. All of these actions are possible through our UI. As we mentioned, we used to use Argo CD as an application delivery platform. Building TPP is not the only hustle. The point is to make all engineers use it in their daily basis. That's why we built a tool to help them integrate or migrate from Argo CD to TBP. Our migrator converts raw Kubernetes CRDs into ARM application CRDs. From there, TBP takes care of the rest, generating manifests, copying secrets, configs, all fully automated. This lets developers adopt the new platform instantly without disruption. And even config secrets automatically move between environments and data centers without hassle. After two years, let's see our current adaptation metrics. 
migrating nearly 10,000 services across 2,000 developers was a huge undertaking. So it's kind of a proud moment for us. Thanks all my teammates for all their huge work. Aaron already mentioned, but let's dive more into self-service data store and messaging operations. TBP is not just an application delivery platform, it's all in one platform. Developers can also provision Elasticsearch, Kafka, Couchbase, and PostgreSQL for multiple availability zones with abstracted full control. Even app user credentials automatically injected into application pods, they can also easily view Couchbase, PostgreSQL, Elasticsearch, and Kafka metrics. So no need to contact anyone such as DBA, full self-service experience to boost productivity. Now let's go through the high-level architecture of TVP. It's a quite bird-eye view one. So here we see our happy developer because now he or she doing things in five minutes were used to uh, do in a few hours. So each team has their manifest history. They hold open application model definitions of their team here. We have Flux webhooks for each repository, and then Flux reflects all the changes in that repository to control plane, TPP's control plane. Then Kubella renders the CRDs and generates raw Kubernetes CRDs with the help of our queue templates, like a receipts. After that, through cluster gateway, either it's data store messaging or application related CRD, they all applied into data plane targets in their own way. So here we are. I want to thank all my teammates for their huge effort while building TVP. Thank you for listening to us.